Russia on Friday accused six British diplomats of spying and said it decided to expel them, an announcement that comes as tensions between Moscow and the West grow during an intensified push by Ukraine to loosen restrictions on using weapons provided by the US and Britain to strike Russia. Russia's Federal Security Service said in an online statement Friday that a decision was made to withdraw their accreditations, and Russian state TV quoted an official from the security service known as the FSB as saying a decision was made to expel them. The UK said the expulsions took place last month. The move comes as Prime Minister Keir Starmer visits Washington for talks with President Joe Biden that will include Ukraine's request to use Western-supplied weapons against targets inside Russia. The FSB said it received documents indicating that the diplomats were sent to Russia by a division of the UK Foreign Office, whose main task is to inflict a strategic defeat on our country, and that they were involved in intelligence gathering and subversive activities. Based on these documents and, in response to numerous unfriendly steps by London, the Russian Foreign Ministry withdrew the accreditation of the diplomats, the FSB said, without identifying them. It warned that if other diplomats are found to be carrying out similar actions, the agency will demand early termination of their missions to Russia. Russian state TV said in a report that the six diplomats had met with independent media and rights groups that have been declared foreign agents, a label the Russian authorities have actively used against organizations and individuals critical of the Kremlin. Britain called the allegations against the diplomats completely baseless. It said the expulsions happened weeks ago, linking them to Britain's decision in May to revoke the credentials of an attaché at Moscow's London embassy and to impose a five-year time limit on all Russian diplomats in Britain. In May the UK expelled Russia's defence attaché in London, alleging he was an undeclared intelligence officer, and closed several Russian diplomatic properties in Britain that it said were being used for spying. About a week later, Russia reciprocated and expelled Britain's defense attaché. Наши медиа полностью разделяют оценку работы британских дипломатов, озвученную ФСБ. На Смоленской площади подтвердили, что посольство Соединенного Королевства в Москве давно нарушает международные конвенции. Вот сегодня стало известно, что шесть сотрудников миссии лишены аккредитации и будут высланы из страны. Доказательства подрывной деятельности неоспоримы. В кадрах последние часы сотрудника британских спецслужб Эндрю Даффа в России. Вместе со спутницей он успешно покидает Москву. Работавшего под прикрытием в английском посольстве шпиона вычислили и вместе с пятерыми такими же выгнали из страны. Лондон засылает нам разведчиков в качестве супругов-дипломатов для прикрытия шпионских акций. Используются малолетние дети. В общем, ни о каком дипломатическом этикете не может идти и речь. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met with leaders of the Baltic states in Kyiv on Thursday. According to the president's press service, the parties discussed the strengthening of military and technical cooperation during the meeting with Latvian Prime Minister Evika Silina. We face hybrid attacks almost every day from Belarus, now drones are flying over our country, so we are here to learn from you as well," Silina told Zelensky during the meeting. Lithuania's President Gitanis Nauseda told Zelensky that the West needs to push away red lines and allow Ukraine to use Western-supplied weapons against military targets on Russian soil. The sooner we understand that we have to push away those red lines that we draw too many times in our heads, the sooner the victory of Ukraine will come," Nauseda said. 
Military assistance was also on the agenda during the meeting with the President of Estonia, Alar Karas. We appreciate Estonia's decision to allocate 0.25% of GDP to Ukraine's defense needs every year, Zelensky wrote on his social media page following the meeting with Karas. But I'm happy that uh, all your team uh, is doing and uh, how you are representing your country. It is as well encouragement for us uh, to learn from you because we are a borderline with Russia and Belarus and it is not always easy for us as well. We have uh, hybrid attacks uh, almost every day from <coughs> Belarus. Now drones are flying over our country so we are here as well to learn from you. You're very welcome, Mr. President. Thank you so much. And, uh, now I understand the most important, at least also for us, is to, to lift these restrictions on, on uh, weapons what you get from, from West. Best. So we have been supporting or have been on this position on the very beginning, including myself. But uh, it's justified that uh, you are allowed to use these weapons to, to target and uh, target military um, infrastructure on, on Russian ground. So, uh, and I hope that uh, our allies, especially US and UK, will allow to do so in many different ways. Mm -hmm.